fellow potters, Sam Kelly, Australia. As I promised in the last video, uh, we'd make a glaze on the um, triple balance beam. So what we're going to do is make a clear glaze. Uh, I call it SKST. And it is a clear cone 9 glaze. It works in reduction cone 9, oxidation cone 9. And it's quite um, susceptible to accepting the good old colour. Body stains, glaze stains. This one's been fired at cone 9 in oxidation. So as you can see, it's got a couple of purposes that it can be used for. The recipe is, if you've got a pen and a pencil, Write it down, uh, potash felspar, 27.8 grams, kaolin, which is uh, primary clay, 10 grams, FX ball clay, any ball clay, it's a secondary clay, uh, 9.3 grams, whiting calcite, same thing, 20 grams, silica 200, which is the ordinary silica, glass, body of the glaze, whatever you want it, know it as, uh, 33 grams. Tests are done in 100 gram lots. I test mine in 100 gram lots because I can keep a little bit left over or whatever. I like to do it that way. The best way to have your water content, I think, with a 100 gram lot is 100 mils of water. Because one litre is equal to 100 mils. So one mil is equal to one gram. So if you have 100 grams of base glaze and 100 mils of water, that's a good place to start. Okay, what we'll do is, is I'll set this up and we'll come back and we'll weigh some stuff. Here. First is we um, weigh out our water or we measure it out. I've got a little container that I have marked and measured, 100 mils. 50 mils. So, 100 mils of water. This isn't doesn't have to stay. Remember, we're doing a test, and it's always a good spot to start off. I find at this, you can add water, subtract it, or whatever later on after your tests are finished. Water's always best put into your container first. Put your ingredients on top, and they'll slate down, and it works out much better than going the other way around. Okay, sit that there for a second. If you remember yesterday, uh, no it wasn't, day four, something like that, we had this balance beam for you to look at and we've got the adjustable piece here that allows us to counteract the weight of what we're going to put here to measure our stuff in. So here's my little container, I've already counteracted it with the weight that's here so that it alleviates the weight of this from whatever we're going to put in there. Okay. Potash Felspar. We'll put the Potash Felspar in first. For you to have a look at. Not that it's all that exciting. It's not like watching the Cole Kidman jumping around the place. But anyway, we're going to get the general idea of what happens. Potash Felspar. Potash Felspar is 27.8. So we hold this so we don't let it go banging all over the place. 10, 20. And I've got to read this upside down, so bear with me, folks. Pretty close, I think, backwards from where I am. Okay, 27.8. Into the water. Put our back on, back on again. The kaolin. Kaolin is 10 per zachary. Again, hold our thing. 10, all the way back to zero. In goes the kaolin.
I stopped breathing on it. Good enough. You're not going to get any any better than that. Go back out and I'll just show you. We'll just drop it in the water and let it slack down. As you can see already, the first lot, the potash felspar, has already sunk to the bottom. So that's what we're going on, helping us to mix up all on its own. Ball clay was uh, 9.3. So everything's back there, back there, back there. We come all the way along here. 9.3 grams. And I think that's it. Ball clay 9.3. Ball clay is a secondary clay. Kaolin or China clay is a primary clay. Don't ask me what they are, I know. If you want to know what they are, grab a book and read. Okay. In goes the ball clay. Whiting or calcite, as we know it, 20 grams. Whiting is a secondary flux in our glaze test or if you're going to test it again, read about fluxes. Probably one of the best books in Australia is one written by Greg Daly. Uh, sorry, there's glazes and stuff. It's a great book, especially to learn. Okay, 33 grams of silica, or what our American neighbors call flint. You can get different uh, sorts of silica. You can get it in 200 mesh, 300 mesh. This is 200 mesh, the ordinary old one that you buy. And uh, it's always best to start off with ordinary ingredients before you hit the flash one, especially with doing tests. Uh, okay, so basically that's it. We've got our 100 grams of base glaze. We've got our 100 grams of water. And the best way to mix this up, to do your tests, is a good old Breville Dairy Bar. Now let me show you what a Breville Dairy Bar is. This is a Breville Dairy Bar. Well, what your mum used to do was make you milkshakes with. This thing mixes up anything. You can buy them second hand, it's Vinnie's or sec wherever, second hand shops, five bucks, fifteen dollars. Slip this little baby underneath there, put that in, turn her on, 10 seconds, you've got the best mulched up glaze that you'll get. Okay, we'll call it quits there and I'll be back again in a couple of days. Bye from Sam Kelly.